Oh, 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 oh. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Rockin', 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 rockin'. The rockin' chicken, baby. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the best reviewed chicken restaurant in my state. The rockin' chicken in Newington, Connecticut is over here on Yelp. Almost holding down a whole entire five-star family. Let's get into these reviews. Let's get into the music. Let's get into the experience of the rockin' chicken. Come on. First one, five-piece. If you like chicken, you're gonna love it here. I know I sure did. Like, really, really, really loved it. It's cooked over charcoal, and I typically peel the skin off the chicken. But for this one, oh my God, it was absolutely mouth-watering. Owner Kate has got to be one of the nicest people I've ever met. She told us all about the different sauces. We waited for a chicken to come out of the oven, and if you get that timing, do it. It was really one of the best chickens I've ever had. We also tried the tostones and red onion salad. The tres leches and the flan were also so good. Oh, this is a Spanish spot for real, for real. I really love their golden diet cola there too. The golden, the golden diet cola, boy. Yo, if y'all, hmm, if y'all never, hmm, hmm, keep reading. The inside is bright, vivid, and clean. I seriously can't wait to go back. Oh, and definitely try the Papa's a la Honchiakia. Honchiakia, what is that? Win, win, chai, win, chai, queer. Yo, my wife is gonna kill me for not knowing the Spanish verbiage out this joint, B. Oh, well, look, it's, it's, who, who, who in kaya, kaya, pow, pow. Look, I don't know. This spot right here, I'm almost thinking because of some of the options that it's a Spanish spot. I could be wrong. I could just be ignorant. That, that, it wouldn't be the first time. But that's a five star. Love the breakdown. I actually know who Alex is. You know what I'm saying? Cat out here. He does a lot in the food space. So I'm going to go ahead and take Alex's word for it on this one. But let's go on to the next. Oh, the next one's a five piece, too. Came here midday last Saturday for the first time, and I probably will be back this Saturday. This was the best rotisserie chicken I ever had. Rotisserie chicken. <sighs> All the sides we had were flavorful, and the portions were great. We also tried their house-made juices. Staff was very friendly, highly knowledgeable about the menu. The store is very clean and beautifully decorated. A great experience overall. We'll be interested in trying other things that they offer next time. What we got? Mmm. A quarter rotisserie leg, chicken fried rice, Peruvian beans, extra side of plantain, mar, mar, maraquia, maracua. Yo, hit me in the comment section below and fix my verbiage on this joint. My pronunciations on some of these words are atrocious. Ma, ma, maracuya, passion fruit juice, a quarter rotisserie leg, chicken fried rice, plantains, chicha morada, morada, Right, right, right. Chicha Morada juice, purple corn drink. Okay, all right. Yo, the rock and chicken sound banging. So what is this, like a Peruvian spot? All right, all right, we getting somewhere, man. That means the flavor's better being full effect, boy, boy. Ooh, let me go one more. I'm going to read one, one more. Dude. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Mm. The service and atmosphere was great. Very friendly and welcoming. Some of the food is in containers you can see when you order. Not everything can be made to order or will take forever. I ordered Lomo Saltado. Lomo Saltado? Anyway, and the meat was made to order. I could see them stir frying in the back. The food was very flavorful. I will definitely go back to try the things. I would show a picture of the Tres Leche cake. If, if it wasn't in hell before, I could snap a pic. Mm. Needless to say that it was good, too. Definitely a must try, son. I'm just really going for the chicken because this is a chicken video. But I might beat y'all in the head with some extras. I hope y'all don't mind. Because these extras are sounding extra good. Mm. All right, y'all, man. That's all I'm going to read. I'm hungry now. So uh, sit back, relax, and comfortable. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Dame drops his back again. And for the rest of my foodie fan that rocks out with this series a long way, you know what time it is. Cue the music. Oh, and to let y'all know, I type up my own Yelp review at the very end of these videos. So stay to the end, you heard? Now the music time. Now the music time. Now the, now the, now the, now the, oh, oh. I got too much damn energy. Jag brukade läsa om kärlek, fascinerande Det de var galna, 
Fam, so we're over here at 236 West Hill Road, Newington, Connecticut, at the Rock and Chicken. We read the reviews. I'm gonna slide up in there. I'm definitely gonna get the chicken. However, they serve it up. You know what I'm saying? But I think I want to try some other things because it looks like they're bringing a lot of flavor to the table, and uh, it looks like a newer spot, man. So, so see what these vibes are hitting on. Stay tuned to the end for that Yelp review, you heard? As you can see, the Rock and Chicken is definitely a newer location. As I went inside, I was greeted by the owner. How you doing? The menu itself isn't overwhelming, but it's truly extensive between the appetizers. You can have different bowl options that you can go with. Also, you can pick the size chicken you want, the sides to go with it. And then for bigger families, they have the family menu as well you can get busy with. All right, fam. So before I even get into all of this food, well beyond what it is that I actually ordered because the menu, there's a lot going on. It is definitely a Peruvian restaurant. She's only been here for three months. Her name is Kate. I grabbed up her business card because Kate went above and beyond from the moment I walked in the door. You know, she recognized who your boy was. She wanted me to try some other foods that she had in the menu. And she was like, no, no, you getting more than chicken, boy. You better stop playing. So we are going to review the chicken. We're going to stick to the basics. We're focused on the chicken family. But one more time for Kate over here at the Rockin' Chicken. She just opened up three months ago here in Newington, Connecticut. Come through, check her out. Now let's get into the food. All right, fam, I remember reading about the Tres Leches, which contains heavy cream and milk up off in here. So I want to do it now. I don't want it to sit because of the fact that uh, it's so creamy dreamed up, but come with it. Yes. Mmm. Tres Leches, family. This, for those who have no idea, this is I mean, a milky cake, baby. And you can't go wrong. This is one of the softest in the game. Mm. Okay. Oh my goodness. Tres Leches, again, guys. Um, it's hard to give it a real comparison. Reality is when you're talking about Tres Leches, you see that cake right there, soft cake substance more like the mixture between a whipped and buttercream on the frosting right it's like right in the middle and then you got some of that silky milk laying low that's absorbing off into the cake just making it even better oh tres leches me and more mm. a dessert that puts in work every time so divine she broke me off some Peruvian flan, too. Let's check it out. All right, my Peruvian fam, I'm going to need y'all to help me out with this one. This right here, if I'm not mistaken, and I saw it on the menu, uh, Crema Voltiera, basically kind of translating into that upside-down, creamy, condensed milk activity, which is this flan right here. So let's go ahead and get that bite of delight. I'm curious. I don't remember the last time I had flan, to be honest with you. But, uh, ooh, is that bourbon laying low? I don't know, but we about to get a whole lot of flavor. Ooh, family, talk to me. Mm -hmm. Now, your boy, I'm more about Tres Leches. The flan is decent, right? Like um, a more dense jello shake shake love love consistency here condensed milk uh more of a solid bite sweet and kind of savory not bad not bad i don't love flan but this one is pretty decent all right y'all of course i had to grab up that golden cola all right and she gave me a passion juice passion fruit juice right here that they have bottled up sun proper so we got that going on What's up with this cola, though, baby? What's up with the cola? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Little bold soda action. Ooh, what you hearing on? Hmm. 
pineapple. Where are you, baby? I can't read without my glasses. So I have my glasses on. I can't see any of these words. It does. This has like this kind of pineapple after breath to it. It's pretty good, actually. So it's pretty good. Nothing, nothing wrong with this at all. I'm not even going to stunt, family. She said these cookies aren't even on the menu. They're just testing them right now. So she gave them to me. She gave them a name. I forgot the name. My apologies, Kate. But Kate, I'm going to tell you right now, this little sugar booger right here on top of the cookies, this reminds me of flowers in the attic. I ain't even going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying, Kate? Yeah, you, you know, if you got beef with me, let me know before I take this bite, girl. Ooh. Looks like we got some fruit on the loose in between. <laughs> hmm. Shortbread cookie. Shortbread cookie with is that, is that guava? Tastes like guava. That's good. You won't get the powder all over yourself. But it tastes like that cookie was made today. That's fresh, fresh. You got hella cookie bookie. Mm, it's a crazy chew. This joint tasty. Wow. Okay. I like that cookie. Garlic parm wing action here at the Rock and Chicken. Mm-hmm. Let's go up off of here. Ooh. Okay. I'm looking at a little bit of flavor, but these are the wet wings. So we're not going to get that crunch and munch for lunch that I do love of a dry rub wing. But I'm hoping that we get the flavor in the chicken being moist. That's all I really care about when it comes to my wet wings. All right, rocking chicken. Are you really rocking? Mm -hmm. A light garlic flair on this one. Extremely soft skin. The chicken is definitely tender. A nice bite through. They're small. They're tiny. They're cute. But there's a lot of garlic butter flavoring that's happening here. Setting these off the right way. Quite tasty little boo things, if I must say so myself. And I do. The real question is... Is this pull apart chicken? We're talking rotisserie. And we see the fact that this is true rotisserie. You can tell by the skin, that softness on the skin up in the rotisserie oven. Oh, that's all you want to see, family. That's all you want to see. Come here, I got a whisper. I got a whisper. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to make a mess. I don't want to make a mess, but it looks like a mess is happening. Now, Everybody knows the rules. Rotisserie chicken. Ooh, pull apart. Ooh, pull apart. This supposed this piece right here supposed to be stupid flavorful. If this is all the flavor that's savor within the skin, this is an automatic win because you already see how tender and moist that chicken is the way it gets that flop flop. That's rotisserie. That's come off the bone and come as you are. I'm about to take y'all to church. Rocking chicken. Is this what you're known for? <laughs> you got me brushing my teeth with the flavor. Let's take this to Yelp. And I mean right now. <clears throat> me. Boom, 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 boom. We back. Boom, 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 boom. We back. All right, y'all. So we're back. We're about to type up my Yelp review for the Rockin' Chicken. My personal experience. Please, in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts about the Rockin' Chicken in comparison to... Wings over Bristol, if you watch the worst reviewed chicken restaurant in my state the other day. But it's a raining Friday. We're here. Let's get into it. 
Let us begin this review with a congrats to Kate and her team on the new opening as of three months ago. And now, let me break this down something proper so that it is officially broke. I started my meal off with desserts only because I had the tres leches and I did not want for it to dry out on me. Silky, smooth, sweet, and seductive. This soft cake delivered flavor beyond one's wildest imagination. Each chew played a delectable symphony upon my taste buds, making me look forward to the very next bite. And that, ladies and gents, is how Tres Leches, a creamy milk-driven cake with the whipped buttercream-style frosting, a nice blend of both variations, should be. I won't ride the dessert wave too hard in this review, for I was here for their chicken, but I did have two other desserts, Peruvian flan and their new shortbread cookies that were just as good as the Tres Leches cake, and I will leave it at that. I went with their garlic parm wings wet, and I will say that these wings had a nice bite. The garlic butter love was decent, but I did not receive a pronounced garlic flavor, though the overall flavor was still good. It did not come screaming at me while punching at my taste buds. The chicken wing was small but still fought a good fight and the chicken was juicy and tender. Oh, real quick, let me just go ahead and break up this one time for the one time. I mentioned how small those wings were over at Wings Over Bristol too. These wings were just as small. And I mean, at the end of the day, most wings are, but at some locations, those wings be busted a little something on the size. It's like them babies be swole, worked up off in the gym, sitting there getting fat like your boy Dame, and then cooked up. I like, I like, I like them wings. Let's get back into it. This leaves us at their charcoal roasted rotisserie chicken. And can I say, damn, 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 one time for the one time. You want skin that rocks your face with outstanding flavor. You have arrived. An easy pull that will have a few breaks of moist chicken attached. And nothing but a deep rooted smoked charcoal kick. Was this chicken loved differently? I think so, for each bite broke apart in my mouth and slid down with ease. Now this is some good chicken. I have to come back. Oh, where are my review manners? With this location being so new, one would only expect a solid bill of cleanliness, and they did not disappoint. Tables, floors, and workstations were immaculate, clean enough to drop food on the floor, pick it up, and enjoy, though I do not recommend. And this, this spot was vibrant, family. You saw the flavors of the rockin' chicken. You could tell that love went into the halls, went into the walls, into the tables. Everything blue, red, yellow, green, pop, pop, mean machine. It's your boy, Dame. I think you know. All right, you know what? Let me stop. Let me stop. I don't want to hit y'all in the head with too many bars, but the rockin' chicken had a rockin'. Do we agree? And if we do, hit me in the comment section below like, Dame, yes, the rockin' chicken got a poppin'. What's next? Give me attitude, too, when you say, Dame, what's next? You know what time it is? It's time for us to go slide in some Chinese spots next, family. The best and worst Chinese spot in my neck of the hood or somebody's neck of the hood out here in Connecticut. Oh, and I've been reading. I've been reading the comments. Y'all like, Dame, listen, we're on season six, baby. It's all been Connecticut, baby. When are you coming to our state? When are you taking this thing west coast, midwest, down south? When are you going to stop playing games? With us, Dame? Soon, baby, soon. You know what I'm saying? My life is a little crazy. I can't travel and do things that I really want to do because I got business to handle up off over here. Family is right here. Like, it's a, it's a lot, man. It's a lot, man. It's a, it's a mixing bowl. It's a conglomerate of gumbo working for me when your boy working outside these YouTube screens. But you're right. You're right. You're right. I need to start traveling. I do. I do. I'm thinking of something soon. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. Look, if you're new around here, stay true right here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. All right? And uh, for my long-standing foodie fam, I love y'all like soul food. Greatly appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching this series. Y'all be showing the best and worst review series. Wild love, baby. And I'm going to try to have season six go on a little bit longer than season five went. Season five was kind of... Kind of short, just kind of stopped abruptly, and I got back into fast food real heavy. So I'm gonna see. Look, just hit me in the comments. Let me know what you want to see, so we can keep this joint going. Let me know what other foods, and if a food gets enough likes, that's the one that I'm gonna add. So say you're like Dame, you know, we want some some Jamaican bites or whatever the case may be, and then everybody is like liking that comment, 
boom, boom, going up to the top, then Jamaican food's coming up next. Like, Dame, listen, man. We, we, we need it. We, we need some Greek bites, Dame. Stop playing games. Greek food is where it's at. Then, boom, and then everybody's just, oh, do I? yeah, we love it. We love it. Greek food, Greek food, Greek food. All the way to then, boom, I'm going to hit you in the head with Greek food. So, it's going to be based on you, what you see for season six. All right, baby? Y'all better keep it crispy. Have an amazing weekend. Please, please, please stay safe out there, man. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And check on somebody that you know and or love because you never know what somebody else is going through. You hear what I'm saying to you? She made man drops. I'm out.